It was a triple header weekend and the NASCAR world was all about the adventures of Kyle and Kyle. Well, and two NASCAR racing legends as well. Hello everyone, I'm Chuck Bush here in the Fan and Media Engagement Center and you're watching the Rearview Mirror. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but Kyle Busch, he's pretty good. He took the pole in the NASCAR Xfinity Series race and then proceeded to put a whooping on the field. And if you're wondering if that dominance transferred over to the race on Sunday, this Toyota was awesome today. Uh, man, it was just so fast and being able to get out front and stay out front. and Not even some of my teammates could challenge us, you know. We just had it hooked up, man. This thing was on rails. Yes. Yes, it did. Bush swept the weekend, becoming the first driver in NASCAR history to sweep both poles and both races. He also broke Jeff Gordon's record for laps led, making this one of the most dominant Brickyard 400 performances ever. And now, the word of the week. Maybe I can do a slide job. Slide jobs galore. You can pull slide jobs and stuff like that, so it'd be fun. How about that slide job by Ben Rhodes? Tried to do the slide job. What an almost perfect slide job. A slide job on the 21 of Sauter. We're going to talk about slide jobs from here to the checker. The word of the week actually made money this week as Joey Logano donated $22 to the Tony Stewart Foundation every time it was mentioned. Slide job. Hey, it's for the kids. The NASCAR Camper World Truck Series got lost on the way to Indianapolis Motor Speedway this week and ended up at a little dirt track known as Eldora Speedway. And the dirt devil, Kyle Larson, was there to put on a show and earned himself a very shiny shovel. I don't know if you heard this or not, but Jeff Gordon was in a race this weekend. In Gordon's return to Indy, he finished 13th and got one hell of a bro hug. In other news, this also just so happened to be Tony Stewart's last race at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Tony got a chance to salute the fans during the parade lap, and after finishing 11th, he asked his buddy Gordon to take one last lap together at Indy and drove off into the sunset. This may be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Well, that'll do it for this week's episode of The Rearview Mirror. Be sure to check back next week as Jeff Gordon joins the search party to look for Turn 4 at Pocono.